Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. You may have seen my videos on Windows Subsystem for Linux. In this one though, I noticed today that on the Windows Insiders blog, they released Android apps on Windows 11 to the Insiders, to the beta channel, the beta channel. So if you're on the beta channel, you can go and check that out. You can actually go into the Microsoft Store, and if you search for Android, it says Amazon App Store Preview, so it's actually a store within a store. You can go and browse the collection. So if you find in just the searching of the store, you want to look for, you know, Subway Surfers or Final Fantasy, you find an Android link, it'll deep link into the Amazon Store, which looks like the Amazon Store on my Android device, which is kind of cool. Um, and if I have something like, uh, you know, Final Fantasy, oops, that's really loud. There we go. So there's Final Fantasy. Um, let's open Subway Surfers. There we go. That's loading up. It sits inside of a Windows window. It looks like a regular app. Let me turn that one down as well. Now I noticed this is kind of cool. Check this out. I'm running an Android app. It looks like an app, but look, I'm using the keyboard. So I don't know if this works for everything, but I think it was kind of significant that this is like a touchscreen device. A touchscreen game, rather. It's a game that would ordinarily work on um, a touchscreen, but because Android devices can have Bluetooth keyboards and Subway Surfer supports the keyboard, it looks like it works here as well. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Looks great. Maximize, minimize, close, all the stuff that you would expect. Uh, we can grab any app we want, like they've got the Kindle app. Um, they are saying that it's a small group of apps. They can see here that they're going to ch check back for more later. Where's Kindle? There we go. Kindle for Android. Say get. Hit download. I'm signed in as myself. You can see it downloads uh, pretty quickly. And then while that's happening, let me put myself in picture in picture here. And you'll see Subway Surfer and Final Fantasy appearing here in the menu. Watch what's going to happen to the Kindle as well. There it is. See? So it appears inside of my start menu. So Android apps just live there next to uh, all the other apps. Go and open that. Start reading. There you go. So I can go and resize that just like you can with anything. And then I've got this great Kindle app that I'm already used to using. So it's the Android app and it just works. It also supports all of the stuff that Windows uh, 11 does with the um, Snap Assist, which is cool. So here's the interesting thing. So here we've got Kindle, right? Uh, let me go and do something else. Let me load up, for example, Word. And then I'll load up, let's say, um, actually, let's do this. Let's go down here to Ubuntu. So under the Ubuntu section, let's load the GIMP, which is the uh, Photoshop for... Uh, open source there. So there's uh, Word. And then where, which one of my monitors did the GIMP pop on to? Sorry, sometimes I've got three monitors and I end up having to look for something way over here. While I'm doing, there it is. Here's the GIMP. Put that over there. And then maybe I've got my Xbox app, right? So I've got a Win32 app here. I've got, a, I've got Word. I've got the GIMP. I could bring in uh, Windows Terminal if I want to from a different, different monitor, resize that, maybe open up Ubuntu and run HTOP. And then let's go and get Subway Surfers because that's 3D and cool. So Windows 11, I've got Kindle on Android. I got Xbox down here. I got Subway Surfer. Let me minimize Xbox. I got PowerShell and Ubuntu running here. I got a Linux app here. I got Word. Why don't I do something stupid? And let's go to, um, is it Xbox? Xbox.com slash play, which is the cloud gaming, just because I can, right? Why not? To see like the most obnoxious stuff I can possibly do all at once on one machine.
Set up the stream for that. Because why not? Yeah, love those in app purchases, friends. No, I don't care. Here's my controller. Got the elite here. So I've got Battlefield on Xbox streaming here. I got Android for Kindle. I got Subway Surfer on Android. I got a Windows app. I got a Linux app. And I got Terminal all at the same time because I'm stupid. I just think that's pretty sweet. Um, things are working out really nicely. I'm pretty happy with Windows 11. I think you should uh, consider checking it out. Um, certainly we know here that the uh, the Battlefield thing is just streaming over the cloud, but um, so it's not actually part of the Android thing. But I just wanted to show you like how much you can do on Windows right now. It's kind of bananas. Um, I'm just consistently amazed that all this stuff, you know, kind of works. Um, let's do a quick match just because I want to do that. Now I'm now this isn't an Android video anymore because I'm like obsessed with cloud gaming in a browser, which is totally insane. So let me close Subway Surfer. Keep my there we go. Look at that. How's my memory looking? Oh, the other thing is that there's an Android settings app here. And in here you can say subsystem resources. And this is kind of cool. It'll actually tell you whether the Android stuff is running, uh, you know, when you need it. So basically it doesn't take up memory or any kind of resources. Or if you're like loving the Android, you're doing it all the time, you can use continuous and keep those going uh, as much as you want. And then you can turn it off. So similar to the Windows subsystem for Linux, you can just shut it off which is cool. Um, I wonder if there, I wonder if it works with the joystick. So let me go back into the, uh, the app store and find a joystick game. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. Let's try one of these. So we'll get mobile strike. Install that real quick. Open that. Like that came in over here. Oops, where did that app go? I'm moving stuff around from monitor to monitor. Oh, that's interesting. So that app does not like being resized when it starts up. So it starts up over here. You can see how Arnold Schwarzenegger is there. And then it resizes and it got mad. There we go because I've got a, a 1080p monitor here and a 4K monitor over here. So there's a moment there, you know, when you're going between um, between systems that it, uh, it did a, 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 a DPI scaling. I don't know why I'm still doing the Xbox part. I just love that stuff. It's another joystick game. Z day. Is that a West game? What are these games here? I haven't heard of some of these games. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm doing Xbox now. So that's Xbox. So on the right-hand side, I've got Xbox. Let's see if this Android game does anything with the controller yet. So I don't see that. Does the mouse work? Okay, so the mouse works. I assume the mouse is acting as a touch because it's, it's probably a game that runs on touch.
So I'm not seeing the joystick show up in the Android app, but I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't even know if the CD game works on that. Well, I'm going to end up playing Battlefield uh, on cloud gaming, which is kind of not the point of this video. So I apologize ahead of time. Uh, I want to encourage you to go and check out the uh, Windows uh, Insider stuff. Yeah, this doesn't look like a joystick game. It's pretty sweet, though. Can I go full screen? Yes. Nice. Look at that. Freaking Android apps on Windows. What the hell? Ah, I like it. Linux apps, Android apps, what in the heck is going on? It's chaos. This stuff looks like it's built on the Android open source project version 11. So this is real similar because the Windows subsystem for Linux has Linux open source there. And it looks like it's running it as a virtual machine, just like the Windows subsystem for Linux. So that's cool. And then they're, they're pointing out that it, it works uh, on the Windows graphic layer, which is really interesting. And a way to kind of prove that, actually, before I leave, is um, let's take like that Z-Day game again. I'll put it over here. And then I'm going to take um, Terminal, and I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to make it really transparent. I'm using Control-Shift-Scroll. So you can see through it. It makes it like glass. So we've got an Android app here. We've got Word and we've got a Linux app all on the same surface. I'm just going to move the terminal over it. And you see how it's all being rendered through that acrylic? Everything's painting to the same surface. Looks really nice. Um, and I'm impressed that I can actually just double click. Look at that. And all the Snap Assist stuff works as well. That's pretty sweet. All right. Cool, friends. I will explore this some more. I hope you check it out again in the Windows 11 beta channel as of uh, today, uh, October 20th. And please do subscribe and look at my back catalog. I've got a lot of great videos. I put a lot of work into them. And I hope that you check them out and share with your friends. Thanks.